What's good? It's our boy dude reviews and today we're going to review Chicken Run, a 2000 stop motion animated comedy film produced by the British studio Ardman Animations in partnership with American studios DreamWorks Pictures. The studio's first feature length film it was directed by Peter Lord and Nick Park from a screenplay by Carrie Kurtzpatrick and story by Nick Park and Peter Lord and it stars the voices of Julia Suarez, Mel Gibson, Tony Hargreaves, Miranda Richardson, Phil Daniels, Lynn Ferguson, Timothy Spall, and Imeldel Stolton, and Benjamin Wifter. And the plot centers on a band of chickens who see a rooster named Rocky as their only hope to escape the farm when their owners prepare to turn into chicken pies. And the film grows over 224 million on a budget of 45 million? And it became the highest grossing stop motion animated film in history. And yeah, what, what do I think about this film? Well, I saw this film loads of times as a kid, you know, it's kind of nostalgic looking at it, you know. Um, yeah, this film isn't, it's, it's not really a DreamWorks Pictures film, you know. It is the fourth film in the DreamWorks canon, as they call it, you know. But it wasn't made by DreamWorks, it was kind of a, you know, a partnership with Ardman Animations. Um, I think Ardman Animations was just kind of, I mean, they did some you know, shorts, but you know, I think DreamWorks asked them to make a film for them, you know, so yeah, it, I would say it is part of the DreamWorks canon. And yeah, let's talk about the good of this film. And yeah, you, I like all these characters, you know. Um, I like how very great escapist it is, kind of is, you know. If you've watched the film The Great Escape, it has similarities to it, you know how like these chickens are just trying to escape this farm from being like turned you know to being like turned into these chicken pies and the voice acting in this film is really good you know like this old british cast it's a very british movie you know the setting and like the humor it's very english you know very very english especially at this time period as well i do like the human characters particularly the villain female person like I really liked her, um, just her body, but like the way it, you know, she was designed. And it's stop motion animation, and it's pretty nice, you know. Like, I can tell a lot of time and effort went into this film, like making it look as nice and like having that fluidity. It looks really nice, you know. And, oh yeah, um, this film does get a bit dark, you know, because as in the beginning, when we, we, it kind of establishes like the world and like um, how these chickens are just kind of trapped here, seeing some of their friends just get slaughtered, it's, it's really dark and gritty. It makes you feel bad for people who eat meat. It's like, oh, I feel bad now, but it tastes so good. <laughs> I do like the voice acting in this film, it's really good. And the animation itself is a pretty nice film, you know. It has a nice flow to it, you know. It moves at a nice brisk pace and it's really nice and fun. Um, my, one of my, some of my favorite characters are definitely like the, some of the chickens, like sidekicks, you know, like the inventor and the old man chicken, I really did like them. Another thing with this film is that for a very, for like a, a U-rated, a G-rated film, like it has a lot of like stressful scenes, like there's a lot of like, you know, like a lot of scenes that get me on the edge, you know, like there's a scene when some of the chickens are in this room with this kind of contraption where they able to turn chicken into pies, and when when two of our characters are kind of stuck in there and are trying to get out, it's kind of stressful. You're like, there are times when I was thinking, oh my gosh, they're gonna they're gonna die in this because it's like you got the spinning cogs and like the sharp needles and all that stuff, and it's woo, like oof, very tense. For I I don't really have anything negative to say about this film other than it's just kind of ordinary it's an ordinary flick it doesn't really do anything amazing you know um it's pretty good it's a really good film and i recommend you to watch it i'll give it a six out of ten i'm gonna give it a b minus it doesn't i think the other dreamworks movies just have a little bit more to offer than this film and yeah that's just my take on it but thank you for watching this review please like and share this video comment down below and tell me what's your favorite DreamWorks flick with that said thank you for watching and as always Bored Review signing out.